season. Just what did you think of the way that this group was able to come together from you know start of the season to, to now? Yeah, I was definitely proud of our growth. Uh, I mean, you can kind of see it, especially, I mean, if you was a fan of the game and you watched us play, I think you can tell that we got better uh, throughout the season. Uh, just from, from, from the first game to the last, uh, we made kind of jumps in every category, I feel like. Uh, and we grew as a, as a team and together. So that's, that was huge for us. What was it like for you seeing the amount of developmental strides that, that guys took right. throughout the season? I mean, it was, it was, it was uh, amazing to watch, to be honest. Uh, uh, I haven't been on a young team like this. Uh, uh, in my career, um, so kind of for me to see it uh, kind of face on uh, from the beginning of the season, like I said, uh, to to the last game of the season, uh, you can tell like guys got more comfortable. A lot of the young guys, you know, uh, kind of got used to. They got some routines in, and uh, they kind of know what to expect now. So uh, we're just looking forward to you know next season. Can you take us inside that? Was there maybe a guy that you worked with or talked to a lot that maybe there was something early in the year you kept talking about or you knew he was working on and there was a point he broke through in the year? Uh, I think uh, probably the biggest one was uh, Trey Mann. Uh, early in the year, he kind of struggled a little bit. Uh, he struggled a little bit. I mean, just a part of the game, uh, especially a rookie. Uh, he had some struggles early. And then, you know, later on um, in the year, you kind of seen like, you know, this kid is, is special. Um, he can really, you know, do some things with the ball that nobody else can do. Um, so, you know, that's just one example. Kenrich, how's your knee and just how are you feeling physically? My knee's good, man. Uh, I, feel, I feel great physically. Um, you know, I just appreciate the, the training staff uh, for allowing me to, you know, get to 100%. So I feel great. Uh, Mark Dagnall called like you and Lou Dort like one A and one B in the defense. So yeah. clearly, you know, kind of how you can sense those players and everything. Darius Baisley was someone this whole season that was definitely making it known that he wanted to have the tougher covers. What did you see from his defensive progression this season? Uh, man, it was it was huge. Uh, I think that what he's able to do on the court uh, defensively. Um, you know, he has a chance to be one of the best in the league, I feel like, uh, just because he's, yeah, he has the right mindset. Like you said, he wants to guard the best guys every night. And his this, his tools, uh, you know, he's, he's long, he's 6'9", uh, he can move his feet, uh, he can guard basically every position. And uh, when you can do that in this league, you have a, a, a bright future, man. So uh, Bays is defensively, he's, he took a lot of strides this year. Speaking of defense, that was an area where you guys are really strong this year. When you guys are, you know, full yeah. tilt, you were a top ten defense in the league. Just what did you think kind of led to that, and what did it take kind of within the group to, to accomplish something like that? Um, just pretty much competing together, uh, kind of trusting trusting uh, what the coaches have for us, uh, trusting the, the game plan that they they set up for us. Um, just taking it serious. I mean, uh, you know, studying studying your uh, scouting report. Just a lot of a lot of little things uh, that go into the game that you have to to be good defensively that you have to do. Uh, we did those things this year, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to kind of the progression that we will make next year. You establish yourself as a wing that can shoot threes and play defense and distribute a little bit. Yeah. And around the trade deadline, you were a name that was being floated a lot. Whether or not there were real talks or not, like right. other teams could use you. What does it mean to still be a part of this Thunder group? Uh, it means a lot, man. Uh, you know, like I said earlier in the season, you know, I love being here. I would like like to retire here. Uh, so it means a lot to me just to be able to kind of be appreciated from what I do on the court. Um, uh, it, it means a lot. What is it about Oklahoma City or the organization that makes you want to retire here? You still have a long. Yeah, career. I know, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, just you know, being here, being just from top to bottom, everybody in the organization, uh, even you guys, uh, coaches, teammates, uh, everything, um, just the culture, kind of the identity, uh, um, the city. You know, it's a lot. You got my interest. Up. What is it about us? That you, want? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ask ask great questions. You guys ask great questions. 14 years. That's a first right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good.
Um, you've uh, you've clearly made a niche here, right? Uh, created a presence for yourself, value. But as this development goes, when are you when are you going to be ready to win? Or how, how do you fight that frustration, pain? I'm ready to, to do some winning. Uh, well, I feel like you know we're uh, as a whole, you know, we're a competitive group. Uh, so, you know, anytime we step on the court, uh, court, you know, we want to win. Uh, and you know, things will be different uh, next year. I'm, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll be different. Uh, but as a as a whole, competitive, uh, we want to compete uh, from the start. You know, we want to win games. Uh, and that's I'm not just speaking for myself. You know, I'm speaking for the whole team. You know, we want to win uh, just because we got a competitive group. So. Because you guys, uh, as a team, were below the uh, salary cap minimum, I, the Players Association is going to decide, but you guys in some way will get some sort of bonuses because of that. Is that something you guys have talked about at all? Because it's sort of a <laughs> cool reward, I'm assuming, for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's something we spoke about uh, uh, together as a team. Uh, uh, definitely just going to say that we're definitely excited and grateful for that. We're thankful for that. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say about that. Was it something that that Sam, you know, came to you guys and, and gave you a heads up that this might happen because, you know, knowing that, you know, you still could have brought in more players that would have, like, cut into that? Like, were you aware of the plan? Uh, I wasn't aware because I wasn't on the trip. But, uh, but um, you know, the guys did a good job of kind of reiter reiterating that to me uh, and letting me know, uh, you know, that we're probably going to get a bonus this year. and. You know, I was all I was all smiles. Awesome. Anybody else in the room? Garrett, you got one on the Zoom. Christos Saltos. Go ahead, Christos. Hey, Garrett. Uh, for you, uh, the next, how, what is the biggest excitement about next season? And how do you see the future of this core ahead of the next season and the uh, next season as well? Uh, for me, it just. Um, Kind of being able to be with the guys again, uh, you know. I know we're gonna go away for a few months and you know all kind of do things to to improve our game and improve our team as a whole. So I'm just looking forward to you know getting back, uh, being with the guys, building that chemistry uh, on the court and off the court, um, and that's that's pretty much it, man.